Hello and thanks for joining me. Today I'm at Porthwen Brickworks on the north coast of Anglesey. Porthwen Brickworks is on the coast of Anglesey, tucked away in a little bay between Amloch and Chemice. Uh, and it's quite difficult to find, so you have to work quite hard, although it is well worth it. It's a Victorian brickworks where they used to make fire bricks for furnaces, and it's right on the coast so they could ship the bricks away as they were manufactured. Now, it's been derelict for decades, and it really does make quite an interesting location because there are lots of really fascinating compositions you can go for. And of course, you're right on the sea. The other advantage, which frankly I'm unashamed to admit, is that because we're on the north coast of Anglesey, that absolutely icy wind that's constantly blowing up the Irish Sea is far less of a problem down here, uh, tucked away under the cliff on the north side of the island. Now, it's a really cold, grey, grim January afternoon. As you can probably see, the light is as flat as a pancake. It doesn't really matter too much, except for the fact I'm desperate to get back into the mountains, uh, and I've had to use this as yet another plan B. Never mind. I've had a really nice walk to get here, uh, and I'm not at all worried about the photography, because either I'll get some great images, or I'll get some practice, so it doesn't matter. But I think actually in this sort of light, it could be quite helpful because I'm definitely gonna to want to take advantage uh, of some of these industrial relics. Uh, and as you can see, where there's deep shadows behind me, not quite so bad when the light isn't too harsh. So hopefully I'll be able to turn that to my advantage. So plenty of time, whole place to myself, gonna have a really good scout round and see if I can find you two or three half decent images. Now for this image, I spotted a big lump of rusty malarkey on the ground, um, but it's positioned beautifully in front of the three kilns. So I thought, perfect opportunity, get down low, get close up to it, and focus stack an image with a focus on the rusty thing, uh, the three kilns, and then a focus stack on the cliff in the background. And what that does is it gives you a really interesting perspective through the location. I've done quite a bit of exploration around the location and I've taken four or five images but I think they're really only serving to demonstrate to myself that I'm much more comfortable with pure landscapes. I've struggled with the buildings a little bit to get anything that I felt was particularly engaging. 
Now I will share them with you uh, and it may be you look at them and say oh actually they're not too bad but they did appear a bit ho-hum to me. Anyway that said I found a composition here by coming away from the main area of buildings that has caught my attention and I quite like this one. What I've got are the two chimney stacks um, which are sort of at a diagonal angle from where I am positioned right on the edge of the uh, of the brickworks and what I've got in the foreground is it could be dead it could just be that it's the time of year but it's a dog rose great big thorns on it sticking out of the dead bracken and it really caught my eye because it really illustrates the desolation of this place and I wanted to get those two chimneys in the shot so I found an angle got myself down really low and I've got this dog rose right in the foreground in front of the camera and as I was composing the shot it occurred to me that the dog rose actually is the star of this particular show so what I've done is I've open my aperture right up as far as this lens will go which is f4 uh, and I'm focused in right on the rose and I've let the background drop away completely. Now you can still tell that they're two big chimney stacks uh, and so the image that I'm trying to create still says look this is an industrial site um, but I think it was the dead rose in the foreground and the sharpness of those thorns that I really wanted to pull out with this image. Uh, I've shot it at uh, round about 28 millimeters. Uh, I've had to ramp my ISO up to 800 because the light is really quite poor now uh, and with the rose blowing around in the breeze I wanted it absolutely as sharp as I could get it so I needed a shutter speed of at least 1 3 20th of a second. Anyway I quite like the composition but I think I'll also recompose it and get a sharp image of the stacks as well. It's taken me quite some time to nail down the composition on this image. I've had to get my camera up as high as my tripod will allow, although it would go a bit higher but there's quite a stiff breeze and I wanted to use a 10 stop filter so I needed to keep it nice and solid. But the reason I needed to get up high is because if I come down too low I lose the effect of the lovely S-curve of this wall that leads up to the arch. It's a really nice composition. I've got it running out of the bottom uh, right hand corner of the image and it really does take your eye quite nicely through the image. What I've also had to do is to arrange the camera so I've got separation. Now there's a little headland through the arch and unfortunately I've got a choice. I've tried to get the headland to be separated from the arch and also the bottom of the wall to be separated from the arch. It ended up as being one or the other. So what I've done is I've elected to keep the headland separate because I think that would be more jarring. Uh, and then I've got a little bit of the bottom of the arch being obscured by the wall. Really not much I can do about that. There's just nowhere else to stand. And quite frankly, I'll be quite glad to get off this wall because I have a habit of stepping back from my camera to just check my composition and mull over what I'm up to. One false step here and I'm in the water with nowhere to go. I'd have to swim all the way around the arch to get out. Anyway, I've managed to avoid that so far, so hopefully that will remain the case. 
Not a hugely difficult shot. I've set it up with my 10 stop filter to get about a 30 second exposure because there's not much movement in the sea, but what there is, I'd kind of like to take off it just to give it that nice sort of dreamy feel and really pop the texture of the arch out of the image. Uh, standard F5.6, shooting at about 28 millimeters, but that really doesn't matter either because I almost certainly will crop it into a square because I want to lose this piece of industrial flotsam in the foreground. Now that's actually quite interesting, I might make another image, but it doesn't really work in this one. Well, it's been really interesting so far. Despite my struggles with the industrial buildings and that sort of stuff, I've really enjoyed myself. And of course, it's a lovely location, so not exactly a hardship. But what I thought I'd do now is I'm gonna head up to the top of the cliff that overlooks the entire brickworks and see if I can get a sort of panoramic shot to the whole thing and try and put it in its context on this bit of coastline. I made my way right up to the very top of the, of the hill which is actually a sea cliff overlooking the Bay of Porthwen because I wanted to get an image to show you the context of it and how it sits in the landscape. But as you can see over my shoulder there's a particularly nasty weather front blowing in, uh, the wind's getting up really strongly now so I'm going to head off home. Thank you ever so much for joining me, I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did why not subscribe now and join me next time, cheers.